Hi, Jack. It's Coach Gurney from Rising Star Baseball Camp. This is video footage of you pitching on Friday, March 29th, 2019, in live game action. And it was great seeing you today. It's been a couple of years since we had you at camp. And real proud of what you've accomplished in your career at Rye Country Day already. I got you at the third base angle and first base side. And we're going to just break down some mechanics here, see if we can improve your performance moving forward this year as you're about to start the meat of your season in the coming weeks. So as you see here, as you get to the balance point position, you do a good job of getting your knee above your waist right here. I would recommend having that front foot dangle rather than go up towards the sky. So the toe here is pointed towards the sky. I would have that dangle. The other thing I would mention is this back leg collapses here. And although you may want to get a little bit of a dip and drive, don't collapse too much. Because as we're going to see when we go through the delivery, that becomes an issue. Do a nice job here of getting good extension back. And that's something you've always done very well, even dating back to your early teens as a camper. Right here at foot plant, it looks like you're going to tuck the glove. But as we'll see, that's going to become something we need to work on. So right here at foot plant, and you see on both sides, it looks like you're going to tuck the glove towards your rib cage or armpit area. And then suddenly we see you drop it past your left knee, as you see here. And I want to see you tuck that glove jack right in here or possibly even higher. And as we'll see, you drop the glove below your stride leg knee. All right. So I do like the length of your stride. I think you get pretty good extension, although right here, I think you would agree we could probably get the ball a little further back towards center field. Let me back this one up. And you see that extension back could definitely be more extensive towards center field. My biggest concern, aside from not tucking the glove and the extension, is this front leg collapse. So look how you're falling over towards the first base side here. And that front leg collapses. And ideally, we're throwing off a stiff front side here. And you don't do that. You collapse over that front knee. And remarkably, you threw some tremendous pitches today. A few really sharp breaking pitches and some excellent spotted fastballs. But we're looking to maintain consistency. Like all pitchers at any level, we want to increase our level of success in the zone. And if we clean up these mechanics, I think you'll see much higher frequency with those good pitches you threw. So the big things, just to review, the three things. Number one we got to make sure that we get good extension back towards center field. Number two, we got to get a good glove tuck, okay, because that's something that you start to do, but then you let the glove just drop below the knee. And then three, let's make sure we don't collapse that front leg. All right, so I think you got tremendous potential as a player. And I guess one visual I'd like you to consider is I want you to be more fluid more relaxed, less, as we say, max effort. And perhaps go onto YouTube and take a look at some videos of someone like Mariana Rivera, another right-handed pitcher, who is just very effortless, and he has a very free and easy delivery, because I'd like to see you go back to that. I feel like here you're muscling up a little bit more mentally, and just let the ball come out of your hand easily, and just try to be more fluid or what I call elastic. So we're going to finish up, Jack, watching your delivery from the third and first base side in slow motion. And feel free to reach out to me throughout the season and have a great year and keep up the great work. And here we go in slow motion.